Hi, I just came back from my doctor at Dugai Center called Dr. Shi Chen, surgeon. She had just two weeks ago performed a retinal, a complex retinal detachment uh, surgery with PVR and uh, she also did a sclera band uh, around my eye. So I'm going to talk about that, talk about my experience. What happened was <clears throat> about mid-October I had some lightning bolts go through my one eye and I immediately went to the doctor and she said, he looked at my eye and said you definitely had a retinal, well a vitriol separation that caused a retinal tear and you need to go have laser surgery right away um, so fluid from the eye doesn't get up into that tear and then get behind the retina which causes the retina to separate which is what causes blindness so um, I went and they did the laser surgery at Dr. Laborde's office down in Hendersonville and um, it seemed two weeks later I go back in and he says everything's healed a hundred percent and I could go back to work and the retina is intact. Well then that Friday just a whole bunch of blood came into my eye late Friday night so I met Dr. Laborde at his office and he did retinal uh, well he did the um, laser again on the retina saying that a blood vessel broke by the tear so we did that on a Friday night and then let's see then I went back in on Monday and he said everything was looking all right <clears throat> and then on by Thursday I had a whole bunch of blood in my eye where I couldn't even see my hand in front of me um, I saw his uh, associate Dr. Cap and he said he there was so much blood he couldn't see the retina he is I just come back on Monday and see Dr. Laborde which is what I did and he said um, well there's a lot of blood in the eye but every you know he thought the retina was still intact but I started seeing a little flap like on the inside of my eye here like a little angle like that of darkness and I was telling him about that and he didn't seem to worry about it at the moment and uh, so then the second week I go back in the next Monday and I say this just doesn't feel right you know that flap is still there and he looks at me and he says oh you have a complex retina detachment with PBR these cells that grow on the inside and um, are heavy and they kind of pull the retina away and he said and that's a complex surgery and uh, I could do it but I would suggest you go to Duke and so he, they immediately called Duke and got me an appointment the next day and I went down there and um, met uh, with the doctor and they said yep um, tomorrow come back in and we're gonna be doing surgery so oh my gosh I'm so scared and uh, my best friend Sadvi Velasquez uh, super healer massage therapist Reiki master uh, was there by my side uh, praying all during my surgery and it was a two and a half hour surgery and um, they take all the vitreous fluid out of your eye and they put a band in there and put laser on it to seal it and then they put the silicone oil back in my eye to uh, help uh, push against the retina you know to uh, seal it so now I'm in that stage but I'll tell you uh, out of Duke Eye Center the surgical team the anesthesiologist the surgeon everybody was completely amazing I couldn't have been more relaxed and, and I felt like I was in the best hands possible and uh, but I'll tell you those first three days after the surgery I cried a lot and 
I was so scared. My eye was so swollen and puffy and hurt. You know, it wasn't as painful. It was just so swollen and agitated and scary because, you know, I don't know if it's going to work and I just am praying that my eye is going to be all right. Um, so the first three days were really bad. But then after that, it started getting better and better. And um, I went for my first week and she said it was great. Everything looked really, really good. Uh, pressure in the eye was coming down and um, I could see uh, like unusually well, even though it's still very blurry. And uh, I'll probably, I have to get like glasses on the one side to help and um, in about three months she said then you know it's like really really good but it's not done yet because then in about eight months she wants me to come back and have the oil taken out of my eye and then a fluid put back in and she said and if the retina is all sealed then that's great, nothing will happen. If there's some small leak that they can't see, that water could get behind it and cause um, it to detach again. However, she was being positive and not uh, expecting that to happen. But, ever, but whatever, I have to do that again in the fall uh, to get the oil out. I guess the oil can't stay in and, and, and it's hard to see through the oil. Um, but uh, I'll have better vision once she puts the water in. Um, but there's that week of, she said if it's going to detach, it usually happens within that first week. So, um, hopefully that won't happen. But anyway, I do that in the fall. And then after that, I should be completely over this scenario. So, I'm just sharing that experience with you. And I want you to know that if you have any lightning bolts in your eye, go immediately to an ophthalmologist and uh, have them check it out. You should establish one. Um, just have one. An optometrist is not the same. They just look at you for glasses. But an ophthalmologist is the one that would really know the retina. And you want a, you know, and you want a retina specialist that you kind of have on staff because it, it goes down quick when this happens. You don't have time to investigate who is a good retina guy in town or how to do it or where to go or how you're going to handle this it is one of those things that is instantaneously an issue and you got to know how to deal with it so that's my goal is to educate all you out there and my clients now on having somebody having that relationship knowing that if it should happen at night or on the weekend what is the emergency procedure that you should follow uh, to do this? Because if you go on YouTube, which I did know, I see all kinds of young people out there with this situation. So it's not just old people or, you know, people that are aging uh, with their eyes drying out and having this happen. I've seen a lot of young people have it happen. And a lot of people think that, you know, some research is showing that, you know, we have that cell phone connected to our ear and it's heating up our, um, not just our ear, and not just our brain. Brain cancer is being, you know, looked at as a result of all this phone by our ear. But our eyes, you know, could it could be also causing that drying um, of the eye. And uh, so you have to take a look at that. And I would definitely suggest using a headset. And I'm um, trying to get that phone away from your ear. And using, you know, the speaker or anything you can do to minimize the, the, that phone to the ear. Um, so I hope this was helpful. And um, like I said, I'm in Duke right now uh, in Durham. And I'm heading home tomorrow. And I'm so excited to get home. I've been here healing for two weeks. I didn't... I uh, want to go up the elevation, and I just wanted to be close to my doctor. And So I'm, I'm heading home, and there was a snowstorm <laughs> while we were here in Durham, so we missed the snowstorm, and we're all, I'm okay with that for sure. Uh, so blessings to you all. Please take care of your eyes. Your vision is so, so important, and you, don't even, and you just take it for granted. And then one day when it's, you just wake up, and it can be gone. So 
take care of your eyes. Um, there's acupuncture protocols that I will definitely now be uh, using in my practice, but I will also be receiving, having my uh, my uh, people do it to me too. Um, and uh, I'll just be much more aware of the precious gift of vision. Blessings. Love you all.